In today's video, we are going to be breaking down Drazen Petrovic's basketball shooting form. He was a very good shooter back in the 90s and was a 44% three-point shooter. If he was in today's game, he would be averaging way more than what he did back then because back then he was taking 13 twos per game while only taking two threes per game. In today's game, he would be probably taking 10 threes a game. So let's check out how his base looks. And when he receives that ball and he dips into his shot and he also steps into his shot, what do we notice? Well, first off, his shoulders are in line with his knees and in line with his toes. This is going to allow him to have a very, very consistent and powerful shot. From there, his right foot is also in front of his left. However, unlike most players, they will only have their toes ahead of their left foot. However, Drazen, he had a full foot almost in front of his left foot. What this did for him was, yes, his shoulders were pretty well squared towards the basket. Same as his hips were pretty well squared towards the basket as well. And his knees were also facing the basket too. But, what does this do for him? For Drazen, what this does for him is this gives him more power into his shot. So he can stretch out his shot way deeper than most players. When he receives that, cat, that ball off the catch, he's already also looking at the rim, knowing where he is about to shoot, and with his peripheral vision, he's going to be able to see this defender going to contest his shot but this defender is down low what does this mean to him well this means that he, this defender is in no way going to be going up to defend that shot and just merely wants to contest the drive when he brings that ball up into his set point he does not move his elbow it stays 90 degrees all the way up from his gather all the way to his set point now his set point is more closer to mine as well as a few others who shoot with a quick shot and that is with a 90 degree angle on his elbow. From there that ball is in front of his forehead but above his head. He has great power continuation all the way up into his arms from his ankles up to his knees and up to his waist we see that when he jumps up into the air he straightens his knees as soon as he leaves the ground this is great energy transfer all the way up into his shot now when he goes and jumps up into the air what we do notice is he keeps that 90 degree angle on his armpit as well as a 90 degree angle on his elbow this is a super fast release he also doesn't bend his wrist back all the way either it's more closer to mine where it's a slight angle but not more any more than a slight angle there's a reason for this release and i was taught this release when i was younger and that is because i was getting my three-point shots blocked a lot by more athletic players who were coming back out to defend the three and i was taught quite quickly that Having 90 degrees and on your shoulder as well as your elbow is going to have a very quick release. I was taught later on by a Filipino player who played professionally over in the Philippines but stayed over here in Canada and here in Hamilton during the summer. He was the one who taught me the slight angle on the wrist because I also, like many other players, had a very 90 degree angle on the wrist. Well, by slightly having not in, uh, having more like a 45 on your elbow or on your wrist that's going to allow you to pick up even an extra couple couple hundred milliseconds on your shot and makes it even harder to block now when you go up to release he does not have a thumb flick he has his left hand left behind and he pushes off with his right hand from there he has a hard release which will be less arc on the ball however more backspin on the ball which will allow it to bounce into the rim more often than if he didn't have as much backspin he also has his elbow at forehead height now if he was to release a bit higher he would get a little bit more arc but i'm not going to be complaining or saying anything terribly about somebody who shoots 44 percent from the three-point line in the nba and we can see how fast this release is here he can get that release off faster than even michael jordan going up to block that shot drazen was a very fast shooter and a very good shooter at that 
He also had very good footwork. As we can see here, when he steps out, he's able to go catch on his right foot, step into his left, and then step into his shot and have a perfect release for the basket. I think that Drazen in today's game would be able to easily shoot still that roughly 45% at 11 threes per game, he would be able to absolutely torch every single team. And I personally believe that he could have been one of the best three-point shooters ever if it wasn't for his premature passing away from a car accident. Something else that many other players don't pay much attention to is their release and of course how their fingers are on the basketball and as we can see here he has dragon has i meant to say draws and has his fingers spread out across the whole bottom of the ball this is going to allow him to control where that ball goes and by that shadow we can see that there is a space between his palm and the ball which when you've got players like michael jordan guarding you they are going to be hitting you they are going to be trying to make you miss your shot and by having a space between your palm and the ball you're going to be able to control that ball when somebody hits your elbow we can also see that on his shot his shoulder is in line with his elbow towards the rim and that the ball is above the elbow which is going to give him a straight shot now when he does go up to release the ball we do see that he has a split finger release where it's his pointer finger and middle finger touching the ball last now a lot of players who do end up shooting pretty well square towards the basket will release with their middle finger however with Drazen we do see the split finger release and of course for him that has worked extremely well so in conclusion what I'm talking about here is if you find that you may be having the ball go out towards the right or left side and you've got your elbow underneath that ball what you can try to do is have that ball go off your pointer and middle finger try it a few times close up spread and then slowly move back and if you find that you're successful shooting like that with a split finger release keep on doing it but if you find that you're doing a split finger right now and you're not very consistent try going over to just a middle finger release again it's all about experimentation even one percentage point is going to be able to have you skyrocket to the next level now Drazen Petrovic was a fantastic basketball player he did pass away very very early on in his career uh, from a car accident so I really wanted to make this video because his shooting form is very similar to mine minus my thumb flick and I just really wanted to explain why certain things are done when it comes to a quick release I hope that you have enjoyed today's video if you have hit that like button subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time